Hi there. Okay, so in this example, we are looking at proving uh, proof. Oh, look at that, I spelled it wrong. Okay, prove. It's like that. Prove the following identity. That cos t over sine t minus 1 plus cos t over sine t plus 1 is equal to negative 210t. Okay, now one thing that you need to notice is that in this case we have a complex expression equal to a simple expression that's an identity and there's really a very basic way that I approach these problems in a systematic way that I call pass, gas and das. Okay, pass is positive acute in other words smaller than 90 degrees and simple in other words this is things like compound and double angles okay that we simplify compound double angles we simplify them as well as co-ratios okay they fall into the first thing that I'm going to do in other words make sure that in my expression that all of my angles are positive acute and simple on both sides the next step okay so let's put that on both sides in the next step you can do cos okay that is put everything in terms of cos and sine in terms of cos and sine again you can do it on both sides for the purpose of this video and also for the input of the problem um, online uh, we are not going to change the right hand side we're only going to stick to the left hand side and try to manipulate it to look like the right hand side okay so there's a little bit of difference um, but you can do it on paper the way you want okay the third step is das das is do algebraic simplification do algebraic simplification and with that just means we add up fractions add fractions uh, and terms uh, cancel factors okay things like that your algebraic simplification process so what I'm going to do in this video is just show how I'm going to make the left hand side equal to the right hand side and that would be proving this identity so how would I go about it well first of all we see all of our angles are positive acute and simple it's simply the T in there next everything on the right hand side left hand side is already in terms of cos and sine so the last thing I need to do is do algebraic simplification adding fractions for example is a very common theme in these is to be able to add your fractions to add fractions we need to first choose a common denominator Okay, our common denominator is sine t minus 1 um, as one factor and sine t plus 1 is another factor. Now in order to have done that I need to multiply this with a sine t plus 1 okay, which means I must multiply the numerator with sine t plus 1. This one needs to be multiplied with sine t minus 1. Same with the uh, numerator sine t minus 1. So in the numerator I've got these two terms. I've got cos t times sine t plus 1 and I've got sorry and it's not multiplied it's being added cos t times sine t minus 1 Okay, there we go. Let's in our next step we simplify this further. We can simplify now by multiplying out all the brackets and see what we get. When we multiply this in, um, or oh, actually let, let's not multiply because there's a cos t is a common factor. That's a very very cool thing. I would rather take out a common factor than than multiplying it out. Um, cos t, especially in a in a fraction, because I want to cancel factors. So I want to factorize most of the time. So what do I have left? Sine t plus one and sine t plus sine t minus one. Okay, divided by. I'm multiplying out. I did say I want to cancel out factors, but here you should notice something interesting we see sine t minus 1 and sine t plus 1 is the difference of two squares 
Remember the difference of two squares? That's when I have something like x squared minus y squared and it factorizes into two brackets the one bracket x plus y, the other bracket x minus y. Now in this case x is just sine t and y is just 1 so that I have x plus y and x minus y and that when I multiply it out will then give me the square of the one minus the square of the other so I have sine squared t minus 1 squared which is just 1 now why did I do that? Well you'll notice that when we have sine squared we can replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared and that 1 and that 1 will cancel each other out so that we don't have two terms anymore okay so in other words if I have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta from my uh, identities and if I want to get sine squared minus 1 I need to subtract the 1 on that side and subtract the cos on the other side so I've got sine squared theta minus 1 this side minus 1 that side is equal to now I subtract the cos squared theta on both sides and I get cos squared theta negative so that this denominator is cos squared theta not theta I'm working with C sorry I shouldn't confuse you okay cos squared T but with a negative okay we know 1 minus sine squared is cos squared and sine squared minus 1 is minus cos squared okay that helps us in the numerator because look here in the numerator we have cos of T and in here plus 1 minus 1 sine t and sine t is 2 sine t so I've got 2 sine t the 2 can multiply in front to give me 2 cos t sine t now later on you'll learn that ah oh, this is sine of 2t that is sine of 2t that's another identity that's coming a little bit later but for now we don't want sine 2t actually um, because we want to cancel one of these causes with one of those causes. Okay, so there's actually two factors of cos in the denominator. They divide into each other to leave me with 2 sine t over negative cos t. And this sine t over cos t, yay. Well, let's start with the constants. 2 divided by negative 1 gives me negative 2 sine t divided by cos t gives me tan t and that is what I have on my right hand side okay so as you can see a lot a lot a lot of algebra okay you need to know and understand how to add fractions how to simplify fractions how to take out um, denominators uh, sorry sorry how to take out common factors how to factorize all of these things that you did in the previous grades come into play now and is very important and it's not that difficult if you can do that if you can't do that you've got problems okay and uh, we'll need to help you with that but that's it this is where I'm going to stop I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it instructive and see you in the next video